protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. We today have concluded an agreement to end the war and bring peace with honor in Vietnam. I had no prior knowledge of the Watergate break-in. I neither took part in nor knew about any of the subsequent cover-up activities. Today, in one of the most difficult decisions of my presidency, I accepted the resignations of two of my closest associates in the White House. Bob Haldeman, John Ehrlichman, two of the finest public servants it has been my privilege to know. The counsel to the president, John Dean, has also resigned. I began by telling the president that there was a cancer growing on the presidency, and if the cancer was not removed, the president himself would be killed by it. I also told him that it was important that this cancer be removed immediately because it was growing more deadly every day. sort of a country lawyer myself. <laughs> Mr. Hunt stated that the defendants were going to be provided with or given executive clemency. I have been physically attacked and robbed in jail. I have suffered a stroke. I have been transferred from place to place, manacled and chained, hand and foot. I am isolated from my four motherless children. I believed I was doing something for the President of the United States. And I told him there'd be a brown sack and that the money would be lying right on that thing and it would come right down, walk right through it, pick it right up and go immediately back in the elevator. I don't know what's going on in this campaign and I don't think uh, you ought to try to know. I distinctly recall Mr. Dean saying that these files were political dynamite and clearly should not see the light of day. There was the other people that were involved in connection with these activities, both in the White House horrors and the Watergate, it occurred to me that the best thing to do is just to keep the lid on it through the election. And God knows Republicans don't view their fellow Americans as enemies to be harassed, but rather I can assure you that this Republican and those that I serve with look upon every American as human beings to be loved and won. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Ehrlichman, are you telling me that the break-in to Dr. Fielding's office was to satisfy the President of the United States? The President wanted very much to make sure that a thing like this could not happen again. How one learned whether Ellsberg acted alone as a disgruntled employee of a think tank, whether he acted as a member of an international spy ring delivering secrets to a foreign embassy, or just what his role was, where he fit had to be determined in the opinion of the investigators by every available means.